Oh, he's dead. G'day guys, welcome back to Australia. Here we are, look at it, the sun's just coming up. Struth, stoner crows, crikey! We are back in Gookamook, and we're gonna be hunting some European rabbits. As you can see, they're popping out the holes. <laughs> I just got here. We've already got two, this is awesome. You gotta love Australia, mate, you little ripper. That one's just come out the hole there. You'll regret that. <laughs> I think one fell in the hole. We got one there, and we got one there. Unless that could be the same one. Popped out just for something crazy to do. Yeah, look at this. It's beautiful. We might go on a kangaroo hunt a bit later. But I want to show the European rabbits. I was going to do it in uh, Call of the Wild, but apparently they're broken. So, yeah, I thought we'd come here. You can do this at Valdos Boys in um, the Classic or in Australia. They both have the European rabbit. The other rabbit's uh, cottontails. They got a scorpion, mate. Should shoot that bloody thing. You want to get bitten by one of those, I tell you. Oh, another one popped out. Oh, he went back in. What you gonna do? Come out, you little bugger. So I think there's three holes in front of me. There's two there. There's one over there. There's usually six holes. I can't see them all. But uh, we'll just perch above these, and they'll be running in and out for a little while. And, uh, yeah, if you come back, they'll be gone. They move the holes every time you, you start a new game, the holes move, which is good. So you got to run around. I am on a tripod here. And you got to look for the rabbit uh, prints, the footsteps or footprints. And once you find them, you just zero in. And uh, eventually, I just had a rabbit run behind me. Eventually you'll find the rabbit burrows and yeah, you just perch above them. You can use the rocks Sometimes I don't bring the tripod, but it's sort of handy to have Is that a... Oh, that's a scorpion again. Jeez, they're huge Yeah, that one's just sitting above the hole there. I think we hit it the first time But it kept running so This is going to be pretty lucrative actually We've already got a few rabbits down, and I've just got here. We saw a rabbit way over there, man. There could be another hole there. See it there? Look at it, little bugger. That's a big one. About the size of a freaking hair. I wonder if I could hit it from here. And see its head. There it is. Oh, we hit it. Look, it's bleeding, mate. It is. It's gone. Hopefully, it, there's a couple of holes over there, I'd, I'd imagine. So, yeah, there's usually six, so we've got probably three holes here, three there. I might have to eventually move across over there and uh, see how we go. Yeah, so I've just moved the tripod, and as you can see, we do have extra holes over here. So, there is six holes, there's three over there. You can see that <laughs> they're glowing, and we've got one there. I think it's got a dead rabbit in it, I'm hoping. And yeah, got a one there. So six holes. Hopefully we can stay here for a while and get a few rabbits and a few dollars. I'm in a competition. Then yeah, I wouldn't mind going and getting some feral goat and kangaroo. Another one's jumped out the hole over there. Beautiful. I love the G10. Look at that. It just turned it into mush. That is beautiful, man. Struth. Okay, so what we might do is pick up what we have. Here, that is uh, down and out. Let me just check. I want to make sure. And yeah, there's where we hit that big one. Oh yeah, here it is here. So we hit it twice right here. 1.8 kilos. Wow, look at that. We're going to get 37 GM, man. That is cool. I don't know. It seemed, looked like it had a really huge head on it. So you can see now some of the, the dots are... Um, Disappear, which is good. It can get annoying. That's why I want to pick these up. Just get them out of the way. We should have a few here. We do. Oh, there's the one that fell in the hole. Seems to be above the hole. Alright, this one's going to be 30. They're paying alright. As you can see, I'm in a competition. I'm 17th in the biggest European rabbit. We hit this twice. Another 1.7. 31. I don't know if that'll make me... Yeah, that's still 17. Okay. <laughs> Hasn't changed. 1.8. This should be a bigger rabbit. Yeah, look at that. 39, man. 
Alright, we got another one here. This is why it's best to pick them up before we get confused. Alright, 1.8. Another not bad size one. We're going to have 37. So it looks like we're stuck at 17 on this competition now. We'll just double check everywhere. Alright, nothing in that hole. As you can see, we've got all the holes here. Now you could if you really wanted to, and I've done it before without a tripod. You just get on the rocks, right? And stand above the holes. The problem with that is you won't be able to see every hole at once. Because they're spread out. So now we've got rid of all those red annoying things that were everywhere, the tracks. We'll get back on here. And you can just stand up on this thing. And there you go, you can see two holes there. And then we've got rid of the red things, are hard to see. There's one there, and there is another three over there. So we'll just sit back, wait for the rabbits to pop in and out, and get another couple. Okay, so I've restarted the game, because that rabbit hole was getting a bit uh, dead. Now, how do you find the rabbits? Well, first off, you've got to find these, man. You've got to find rabbit tracks, because they don't wander far from their burrows so all we've got to do is run around this area until we find the burrows i'm going to do a big circle around this area and we will eventually find them you can see this should be another probably rabbit track here that's nah, a fox man that's a fox so get back onto the rabbit track here I'll do a quick run around until um, we find the burrows and we'll set up and have a bit of a shoot at them. Yeah, they're not far. Because they're locational, the rabbits. They live in the burrows, so don't go far from them. So all we've got to do... Where are you? There's another rabbit. All right, let me find these things. Found them. Here they are, right here. So as you can see on the hunter mate, you can see we've gone around in a circle following the bunny tracks and there's the burrows right in front of us here. So what we're going to do, we're going to get up on this hill so we can see down at the burrows and we'll pull out our little tripod and just drag it back here. Beautiful. Now we'll get the dog to sit down. All right, girl, come on. Sit. Watch out for them scorpions, mate. One sting from them and they can kill you. Righty. All right, she's sitting. We'll get it. Oh, no, no. I press the wrong button. All right, lay back down. Good girl. Good girl. Stay. All right, I don't even know if the stay thing works. All right, so we'll get in here. Up. And stand up. And look at that, right in front of us, we got rabbit burrows, man. There's one there. There's one there. So there's usually about six. There's one over there. So they're going to be all, there's one there. So they're all in this area. There's one hiding there. So all we need to do now, like the rabbits, there's tracks everywhere. Like I said, you look at the hunter, mate. We run around in that circle. They're all them crosses their rabbit tracks. And that's how you zero in on it. And then I come up on this hill and I just saw my first, um... Did I hear a rabbit then? Saw my first, uh, burrow. So we'll sit up here. Try and snag a few of these. And yeah, hopefully we can get a few. See, there's one right there. Looks like it's half in, half out of a hole or something. See how far this bird shot goes. We hit it, it's bleeding, look, there's another one running. Oh, one, yeah, I think that one went down. So, yeah, they're going to be bobbing in and out of here. Like I said, they're positional. They, they don't live far from the rabbit burrows. So once you find them, you just got to sit around. Like, you can stand here, actually. You probably wouldn't, you know, but it is handy to have the tripod. Yeah, hopefully we can get another one or two of those little buggers. I love the little rabbits, they are awesome. Yeah, so if you're having trouble in Call of the Wild, if they're broken, remember all you need is a shotgun, 
which you get for free when you you know when you make your account and they give you free bird shot as well so you don't need the tripod you can stand on a rock or you can just like oh, you could stand on this hill and we would have seen that rabbit and you know hopefully we would have got the shot off as well so they're yeah, bloody awesome mate but there goes one just went down a hole there i think yeah, one just moved in and out of that hole i just saw its bum go in so I like the mornings, they seem to be a bit more active in the morning and that's pretty true in Australia also. We used to do a lot of bunny hunting and yeah, you used to always get a ton of them in the morning. Back out. Oh mate, there was two of them. They are insanely crazy. Coming out like that. And I love it. Hey, <laughs> we're getting a few already. But like I said, you could leave your tripod here. When you come back the next time, the rabbit burrows won't be here. So every time you start a new game, the rabbit, rabbit burrows reset. But they're always, mainly, always on this side of the map here. See this side last time we saw feral pigs, goats, kangaroos. You'll get feral, feral goats out here and that, but mainly foxes and rabbits. So yeah, if you want to do rabbit hunting in Australia, which is better than Valdos Boyce, because... There's less undergrowth, you can see the rabbit better. In Valdos Boyce, you can see it come out, and then if it runs really quick, there's trees and bushes and what have you in the way. So I'd rather do my rabbit hunting right here in good old Australia, mate. Another one right there. It was. Damn, there's three that just come out of that hole. That's insane. <laughs> That's crazy. Three out of one hole, we got them all. Alright, what we might do is pick these rabbits up. It's starting to get noisy outside. Now, I did say we'd have a goat and a uh, feral goat and kangaroo hunt. What I'll do in my next video, that's what we're going to do. We're going to come back here and go after the goats and the kangaroo. Alright, wow. Wow, that's a good rabbit, man. 46 for one rabbit. Impressive. Uh, this is standard size, 1.8 kilo. So there we go. They're all worth a few dollars though, aren't they? Look at that. We're making a few bucks. Oh, they also there. Was there one under the ground there? Alright, you're not a bad one. 30. Oh, uh, I thought I saw something shine in here. Shine up. Alright, so that was the three from that hole. And there was one near this rock here we shot. I think there was a couple at distance we may have hit. 1.3, this is only a tiny rabbit. We're only going to get 12. 13. Damn you, rabbit. Now, if you've got the Labrador, they will pick the rabbit up. And uh, bring it back to you. But, it's sort of, you know, unless the rabbit runs like a million miles away, there's not much use. Alright, so let's check did i shoot at this hole nope we've got something over here shining up ah uh, here's a bunny here's a little bugger pick him up all right you're a 1.9 a 42 look at the difference that like one kilo makes i think we got them all i just don't want to leave anything and get a letter from doc gunner oh, you mongrel you didn't pick up all the dead animals so there you go as you can see on the hunter mate you can see the circles so what we did was we found our first rabbit track and you kept finding them and it actually made me go in a circle because like i said they don't go far from the burrows i have to pick up my um <laughs> little stand here my tripod no use leaving it because once you did if you left it here and came back these rabbit burrows wouldn't be here they'd be gone so yeah i'm gonna end this i'm gonna because i have to edit this then later tonight or early tomorrow i'll be doing a kangaroo and feral goat hunt and hopefully we get something good in that because i've got a couple of competitions in those also here's the boab tree oh, as if you shoot it mate 
the water's going to come out, don't you? Well, it's not. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I thought I was going to go to the Call of the Wild and do the European Rabbit there, but I heard they're broken at the moment. So I'm going to wait. I thought we'd come here and have a hunt because these rabbits have been here for years. They're not broken. They work really well. There used to be a problem where they did fall in the hole and you couldn't get them. Then, you know, they fixed it so they came back out of the hole. That's not a dead rabbit there, is it? Let's double check. I don't think so. Nothing's glowing. Probably just a rock. Yeah, it's just a rock. Oh, look at that scorpion, mate. Can we kill it? Oh, we killed it. Look at that little bugger. One nip from that little bugger and it could kill you. Well, actually, the big scorpions, we can't pick it up, though, aren't the problem. It's the actual little ones that get in your boots and stuff. And, yeah, they will uh, do you some nasty stuff, that's for sure. But, yeah, look at that. That is a beauty. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for dropping by. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one.